China, a country with a population of more than 1.4 billion, accounting for 18% of the world population, the world's second largest economy, and the world's largest developing country. A country that has been striving to improve scientific literacy of citizens. And China is the first country in the world to enact a law on popularization of science and technology at the national level. As of 2018, the proportion of China's scientifically qualified citizens has reached 8.47%, and the scientific literacy of Chinese citizens has entered a stage of rapid growth. China now has signed a number of cooperation agreements with world organizations such as UNESCO and some countries along the Belt and Road, which will help share the Chinese experience with the world. Popularization of science is a basic support of building an innovative country and a global scientific and technological power. Chinese President Xi Jinping has stressed that without a general improvement of overall scientific literacy, it is hard to establish a main force of high-quality innovators and realize a rapid commercialization of scientific and technological achievements. A large number of major scientific research achievements such as high-speed railways, manned space flights, big data, 5G, nuclear power, and hybrid rice have shown strength of China's science and technology. The huge scientific research teams and rapid transformation of scientific and technological achievements have all benefited from the improvement of scientific literacy of all Chinese. Ahud Manipets, chairman of the Board of AI, an Israeli association of engineers, architects, and graduates of technical sciences, believes that Chinese government and leaders have attached a great importance on popularization and communication of science and technology, and ranked popularization of science as a priority for sustainable development. This is key to achieving its Millennium Development Goals. So I like the focus that is being now made on communication of science and technology for that matter, yes. When I came the first time to this country, there was no high-speed train. No. And now we have the whole country is full of high-speed trains and um, things like that. I mean, so it has dramatically changed what science innovation has done altogether around the world. In 2013, Chinese President Xi Jinping put forward an important idea of precision poverty alleviation, enabling China to get rid of poverty in an all-round way by 2020. In such endeavor, science and technology should go first, and improving scientific literacy of the impoverished population remains top priority. To strengthen scientific literacy of its key population, China Association for Science and Technology has mobilized the science and technology workers to set up and encourage over 500 rural federations of professional technologies, over 5,000 rural special technological associations, and more than 50,000 experts to participate in the Precision Poverty Elevation Projects. In 2018 and 2019, two sessions of the World Conference on Science Literacy were successfully held by China. In the light of Beijing Declaration of the World Conference on Science Literacy, closer cooperation and exchanges between China and organizations, scientific and technological organizations, and research institutions worldwide have been boosted to set up a global cooperation platform for science literacy, featuring consultation and construction for shared benefits.
Today, mankind has been closely linked as a community with a shared future as never before. It has already arrived. Whether we admit it or not, there's no doubt that such a building of common destiny is built on the solid foundation of science literacy, dedicated to be a responsible participant of and a contributor to the improvement of global science literacy. The Chinese government and the science community will deepen cooperation through opening up and contribute more Chinese wisdom, experience, and solutions to the improvement of public science literacy worldwide.